This video is about NF1. You'll learn what it is, what causes it, how it can affect your body, and how we can treat it. We'll also talk about medical tests you may need and where to get more information. This video is brought to you by Seattle Children's NF Program, which specializes in working with kids who have NF. What is NF1? NF stands for neurofibromatosis. Neurofibromatosis type 1 is a really big word, so we're just going to say NF1 when we talk about it. NF1 affects about 1 in 3,000 people. It's one of the most common genetic conditions. First, we have to talk about your nervous system. When we say nervous system, we're not referring to being nervous or worried. Your nervous system is a network that includes your brain, spinal cord, and nerves. It sends signals from your brain to your body, and also from your body back to your brain. When you think walk and your legs move, it's your nervous system that sends the signal. When you touch something hot and pull away and go, ouch, that's also your nervous system. NF1 is a condition that affects how your nerve cells grow and change within your nervous system. NF1 can cause tumors to grow on nerves. A tumor is a lump or bump in your body. NF1 tumors are not cancerous, but they can cause problems. What causes NF1? NF1 is caused by a gene change. Genes are like recipes for making you unique. Genes are passed from parents to children, from generation to generation. Genes tell our body how tall we get, our eye color, and what our hair is like. Half the time, an NF1 gene is inherited from a parent. The other half of the time, it's a new gene change in you. What can happen to people who have NF1? The symptoms caused by NF1 are very different from person to person. NF1 can affect many parts of the body. Some symptoms of NF1 are easy to see on the outside of your body, and some of them are harder to see because they are inside your body. You may have some or all of these. Let's talk about body parts that may be affected by NF1. Skin. NF1 can cause your skin to look different. It is common for these skin differences to increase as you get older, but they will not make you feel sick. You could have brown spots, also called cafe au lait macules, and freckles. These do not usually cause any health problems, but are just a sign of NF1. Doctors often use these skin changes to tell them if you have NF1. Neurofibromas. A tumor is a lump or bump in or on the body. Neurofibromas are tumors seen in people with NF1. They are not cancerous. They are small bumps on or under your skin. They are not usually painful, but can feel a little uncomfortable when touched. These bumps are called dermal neurofibromas and are another way for a doctor to tell that you have NF1. Plexiform neurofibromas can be inside your body. These tend to be along bigger nerves in your body. These tumors can put pressure on your nerves or other parts inside your body which might bother you. Your doctor will help you watch these bumps for rapid growth or increasing pain. Brain and social emotional. Some people with NF1 have trouble paying attention, focusing on something or learning called ADD or ADHD. It might be hard to share your thoughts, ideas, and feelings. You may need help in school from teachers or aides, or you may need therapies to help you learn, communicate, and play. It can be helpful to have a learning specialist like a neuropsychologist help pinpoint your strengths and challenges. Children with NF1 may have a harder time building friendships. Also, it's really common for kids with NF1 to have headaches. Eyes. Some people with NF1 have tumors that grow on the nerves to the eyes. These are the most common brain tumors in people with NF1. In most cases, these tumors do not cause any problems and do not require treatment. You need to see an eye doctor and your NF doctor to make sure that you are seeing well. People with NF1 often have very small brown spots in the colored part of their eyes, the irises. These are called Lish nodules. They are just a sign of NF1 and do not cause problems. Ears. 
hearing loss and ringing in the ears sometimes happens in people with NF1. You will need to have your hearing checked regularly. Digestion. People with NF1 might have trouble pooping or pain in their belly. Talk about this with your NF doctor if this is a concern. Puberty. Puberty is when your body goes through teenage changes like getting taller, getting hair on your body, and your voice changing. Most kids with NF1 go through puberty on time, but some kids with NF1 may start puberty early or late. Your doctor will ask you about puberty during your visit. Bones and growth. Kids with NF1 may develop a crooked back called scoliosis or curving of the lower leg bones or a difference in the length of your legs. Some children with NF1 are not as tall as other kids, but are just as healthy. Blood pressure. People with NF1 may have high blood pressure. This just means you should have your blood pressure checked at every doctor's visit. How is NF1 treated? We can't yet fix the gene that gave you NF1, but we can help you with the problems that we talked about. It can be hard for you and your family to think about this. Your NF team is here to help. We will look for early signs of problems and will help you by giving you support, therapies, medicine, surgery, or other treatments if necessary. We even have medicines that can help shrink tumors in people with NF1 called MEK inhibitors. These medicines work on the tumors that kids with NF1 can have. There are a lot of really smart people all over the world who are working every day to help kids with NF1 just be kids. At your next visit, ask your doctor about the latest NF news. What tests will I need? We may do some or all of these tests. NF1 gene testing. We use some of your blood or saliva to do this for you and maybe some other people in your family. Magnetic resonance imaging or MRI to take a picture of parts inside your body. Echocardiogram or echo to show us a picture of your heart. Electrocardiogram or EKG to show us how your heart is beating. An X-ray which is a picture of the bones. Neuropsychological testing to help us know how you learn. What is your job for your NF1 care? See an NF1 doctor at least once a year. Let your NF1 doctor know if you have any lumps or bumps that are growing fast or are very painful. See an eye doctor at least once a year. Have your hearing checked at least every two to three years. Have your blood pressure checked every time you see a doctor. Have your back checked to see if it's crooked at least once a year. Ask your school and your doctor to help you learn and make friends. Where can I learn more about NF1? Understanding NF by Children's Tumor Foundation. Seattle Children's Hospital Neurofibromatosis Condition Page. Neurofibromatosis Type 1 Kids Health. Check the links below this video in the description where you can learn more. Seattle Children's NF program specializes in working with kids who have NF. We have a whole team of people to help you and your family. You can talk with us anytime you have questions about NF1. Call the Neurosciences Center at 206-987-2016. Thank you for getting your care at Seattle Children's.